In this summer internship course of 2022, I gave a demonstration of an experiment on developmental biology for summer students at our marine station. I showed a real egg and explained about chicken and zebrafish embryology. In this video, I want to explain the activities at the teaching lab in our marine research station. My laboratory uses goldfish embryos as research materials. However, fertilized goldfish eggs are not available in midsummer, so we use fertilized zebrafish eggs for the demonstration. This fish is very useful because it can spawn eggs at any time as long as the conditions are right. However, I felt that fish embryos are not enough if I want to teach the relationship between evolution and development. So I want the student to see one more embryo that is completely different from the fish. In particular, I want them to learn about the vertebrate embryogenesis which appears in developmental biology textbooks by looking at real live embryos. Then I decided to have them look at the chicken embryos from a variety of candidates. The reason is that fertilized chick eggs are easily available. We bought and prepared the fertilized eggs about three days before the summer internship student arrived. The fertilized eggs were cleaned with alcohol and set in the egg case. Then I made a mark with a pencil on the upper side of the eggs. In this way, we can easily locate the embryo when we observe it. They are then placed in an incubator set at 34 degrees. Actually, it could be a little warmer, but for the original experiment in our lab, the incubator is set at 34 degrees, so we decided to warm the eggs at this temperature. I make some samples before the demonstration. I don't want to have mistakes when demonstrating, so it's also a kind of practice. I prepared zebrafish eggs and chicken eggs side by side on the lab bench. Okay, I am now going to explain how to handle chicken embryos. This work involves using needles and scissors, so I give a demonstration explaining safety to students. If you open the shell successfully, you can observe the embryo like this. If you want to observe the embryo in more detail, you can inject ink into the underside of the embryo. In this way, the white embryo can be observed more clearly. The detailed techniques will be explained later in other videos on our channel, so please subscribe to our channel. The students loving this kind of work approach the bench one after the other. Here I prepared a chicken skeleton because I hope this will help the student to think about how this kind of complicated skeleton is developed from a simple egg. We observed the eggs under the microscope. I hope the student could see the difference between zebrafish embryos and the chicken embryos. I also hope that the students feel something about the interesting relationship between evolution and development. The mission was completed without any problems. Thank you to the chief and other lecturers and everyone involved in this summer internship course. I'm sure that the student learned a lot from this activity. I only did a small demonstration on this internship course, but there was a lot to learn. I would like to think about how to improve the content of the demonstration for the next time. See you soon.